What's happening, good people? Today, we're gonna get loopy, courtesy of Stritch. They were kind enough to send me out this pedal to give a quick little review. And the box, pretty nice. It's got like a nice little, tiny little magnet on the end over here. And the pedal is inside. Nice little styrofoam to keep it from bouncing around. Decent size to it. Kind of cool that they give you some, some Velcro if you want to put it on a pedal board. And the instructions. But who needs to read? Just like any other looper, you have the single single button and the control knob for the volume. What sets the stretch apart from the basic model of the Ditto looper is it has three different banks and you could score up to I believe 30 minutes in each bank for a total of 90. The Ditto Looper, I believe, was five minutes. There is a latest version of the Ditto Looper now that has, I believe, storable banks up to, I believe, 90 minutes. Don't quote me on that. I haven't uh, looked at it yet. But you could load backing tracks into the newer version. You can load backing tracks into this one. They both store it, so when you unplug and plug back in, it, the last recording is going to be saved on there. Pretty much it. You know, loopers, simple, easy to use, good for practicing by yourself. You could just play a couple of chords and then just, you know, solo over it if you want to. The pedal is pretty sturdy. It's going to hold up well on a pedal board. And uh, let's plug it in and just give you a quick little demo of it. Hey, everyone's uh, Brian from the future. Sorry, had a little bit of an issue with the uh, stretch looper when we were filming and the uh, audio for the guitar didn't come through. So we're just gonna do a quick little playthrough now and then we'll bring it back in. When you start the loop to make sure the light is off, you hit the button, engage it, it'll turn red. That means that you're recording. Once you stop, you hit the button again and it'll turn green and then it'll play and then you can play over it. You can repeat that and it'll just loop on top. You can just keep on adding more and more loops. If you want to delete it, you just double click it and it'll blink green and then hold down the button and it'll wipe it clean. The only issue is, I think with other loopers that you could play like say four seconds long of a chord progression and then solo over it for 10 minutes and it'll make that loop 10 minutes. Don't quote me on that. I'm not too familiar with other loopers because especially with the Ditto Looper, you only have five minutes where this gives you 90 minutes. But when you do it with this, it's basically as long as your bass loop. If you're gonna play a 10 second chord progression, that's gonna be the maximum amount of time that you're gonna be able to solo over it. Because when you do, when you start to overdub and record again, you'll notice that once you hit that 10 second marker, however long you made that initial bass loop for, it's gonna start playing over itself again. Well, it's simple to use. My first time really getting back into using looping. I have been, if you have seen previous videos, just been using it to play something to go A, B, ing through pedals. But it was simple, easy to use, has a good amount of storage. If you're looking to see if you like loopers and you don't want to go for the $159 equivalent of this from the Ditto Looper, which seems like it's a really good you know, value for what you get out of Ditto. This, I think, is $49.99 currently on Amazon and there's a coupon. But sometimes you find some deals, you could find it less than less than 40 bucks. Or you can go simply for the Ditto Looper that we have now, which is the basic model, which is $99.99. But you don't get the, the amount of storage on there and the three usable banks. So if you want to store different types of you know, chord progressions on there and go back through them, this one's definitely the thing to go for. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link down below. 
where you can get the pedal. You've all been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.